How to throw underhand low to high with a girl stick. Where I want to start on this is making sure we have the proper grip. For more information on this grip, check out the most important skill in lacrosse video that I did earlier. So this grip shouldn't change for underhand versus sidearm versus overhand. The same way I'm gonna hold the stick as far as where the thumb is, where the forefinger is, the way the wrist is broken back. It's gonna look the same on the stick for overhand as it is for underhand. I didn't change my grip at all, right? That's important to note. So we start there. A lot of times the most common mistake I see with both guys and girls sticks when kids try to throw underhand and they have a lot of trouble being able to pull it back up is because they're starting up here in more of like a sidearm release and they swoop down into their underhand shot which the ball will start to roll out as I swoop down. So on that trajectory of coming downward, the ball starts to roll out, therefore releasing much earlier and staying low. Not that shooting low to low is necessarily bad, but I want the option to shoot low to low or low to high, right? So what I'll do is I'll make sure that I, A, have that grip, but B, get the ball and the head of your stick closer to the ground. That's really the key here. So if that ball is closer to the ground, I'll be able to, under control, close to the ground, I'll be able to take it from that position and throw it up. And that's gonna be the foundation of a, of a really good low to high shot, is being able to control the ball down here closer to the ground and then come straight upward. So there's no down motion then up, it's just down, control it down here, release, low to high. Another really big piece to this, once you have that down, is understanding the center line of your body in relation to your target. So in this case, the target's a wall, and this line is parallel to that. So that line is relevant because notice how my stick is on this line. With a girl's stick having so much of a smaller pocket a lot of times than guy's sticks, I don't have the luxury of being able to wind up as far, clearly, but I can still do it. I just need to control my stick angle in a more specific way. So I, you can see right now, hopefully, that this stick is actually on this line. It's not even in front of it or behind it, it's right on it. So from this stick angle, that will allow me to snap it forward and upward. If I were to wind up past this line, I can still get it up, but there's a really big chance I slightly lose ball control on my way back, especially with a smaller pocket. So do your best to understand this line. I don't have to set my body up like this. I can also set up like this, where everything's facing the target, but now look at that line, and it's the same concept. I have the stick on that line, and I release it from there. Whereas if I were to wind up further back behind it, I'll have to have much better ball control, basically, in order to be able to get it exactly where I want it to go. Whereas this will allow me to focus on developing that skill set and getting really good at throwing from this line, then later I can worry about winding up further to try to add power to it. Utilizing a girl's stick to learn a skill like this will absolutely add value to you in the men's game. And if you're a girl, this skill, if you watch high level, college, women's lacrosse, pro women's lacrosse, and you watch some of the best players, at least from the scoring perspective, you'll see them drop their stick a lot and raise that ball up low to high. You'll also see lots of other things like behind the backs, side arms, overhands too, but a ton of different releases. Your coaches have probably preached to you at some point or another, overhand, throw overhand, throw overhand. But we also wanna have that context of, yes, I do wanna have an overhand shot in my game, but having of different types of throws that I could use is only gonna make me a more dynamic player. Imagine a situation where the ball's on the ground, uh, an opponent is going for it, and you have the skill set to scoop this and all in one motion release a pass to a teammate who might be open. That's an incredibly useful skill to have. So 
Focus on this low to high release, understanding the line in relation to your target and not letting your stick wind up too far. And number one priority is that grip. Okay, everything's gonna be predicated upon that. Hopefully this is helpful, whether you're a guy or a girl, having a low to high type of throw or shot in your arsenal will add value to your team.